Hello and welcome to the Recall EMS1 Summer 2013 group stage. We are in Group C. We are here with Mouse Sports and 4FC who are playing their first match of their group stage that they are in with Alliance and and Red in the Dark. There we go. And of course, I have a co-caster, unlike what I said earlier. Uh, I have a co-caster of Alliance, Admiral Bulldog. Welcome. Hello. Hello. It's very nice to be here, Shiver. It is. <laughs> Finally. Finally. I'm here. Finally, you're here. Finally, you don't have a broken throat or a broken well, foot. Or did your dog eat the microphone or I don't well, know. Well, yeah, something like that. Yep. I've always wanted to cast with you, but you've never really invited me. So, <laughs> yeah. but now, finally. <laughs> finally, you're here. And you're watching your competition. So, most sports first 4FC, I guess, like most sports obvious favorites here. What are you, what are you expecting from this match, though? I think Mouse is probably gonna win, but 4FC is one team that many people underestimate. They're definitely a team that can upset, and uh, the problem with 4FC, their strength is usually in their laning phase. They usually do really well, but then in the mid and late game, they usually just fall apart or get picked off and stuff like this. So we'll see what's gonna happen this game. Yeah, I mean, 4FC, of course all Swedes. So are you rooting for them? Well, yeah, of course. I hate Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> They're our nemesis, basically. Mouse is always giving us troubles in uh, tournaments, so I want them to lose. That is true. I know that last week I, I casted a match and Mouse was called the, the Alliance Killers. Yeah. yeah. We almost lost to them at DreamHack as well, so... That was a close one. But then... Then you ended up winning the whole thing. But we see Mouse Sports. They ban out Wisp and Kunka, so that's already a very targeted ban to Strangby. Because of course he plays that a lot. Lone Druid, Bat Rider getting banned out. I guess so far not really anything surprising apart from Mouseports picking up the Nyx Assassin and the Bane, like in combination with each other. Pretty high ganking potential. Like you just said, like 4FC is strong in the lanes. Do you think Mouseports knows that and gonna make sure that they are gonna be having some action early on already? Yeah, they usually always pick the Nyx and Bane. They love these heroes. They love the Nyx especially. Not sure why they banned the Kunkka. It's strong, we place it a lot. Um, I'm not sure about the Lone Druid ban against Mouse as well. I don't really see them playing it anymore, especially after the patch. Before they use it all the time as Koyukwa and Offlane, but the Lone Druid is not as strong anymore in Offlane, so I don't know. Yeah, we still have the Gyrocopter in the pool, by the way, so I guess we're gonna see a, a ban out from, from that one as well, because, I mean, I mean, that's also something that Koyukwa plays in the offlane sometimes, or even aggressive trial-in. But I guess with the two pickups, like with this new drafting phase, you don't really know that much yet about what Mouse Bros is gonna do. So 4FC, they only know like they can ban out mids or carries, but not nothing really specific yet. More like what they don't want to face rather than what they think Mouse Bros is gonna be picking up here. And with the life seed around 4FC, it might be a bit easier for 4FC. I mean, you can just pick up a secondary disable next to your Shadow Demon, like a Le Shrek or Lina ban out one of those two, but they actually ban out the Templar Assassin, so already gonna be starting to counter the mid hero that they anticipate for themselves. They ban out the Puck that Fada loves a lot, he plays it really good. Um, they're definitely gonna pick up a carry mouse. They're, they either play Gyro or um, Spectre or Anti Matrix, are probably gonna pick up. They love these heroes as a carry. All going the way of black. You're not expecting a Spectre. Yeah. We've seen a resurgence of Spectre lately. Yeah, Mouse has been playing it quite a lot, actually. Oh. To decent success. Yeah, a carry that can also make a lot happen when he turns level 6, can just continue farming and still have a bit of an impact, depending on what build he goes for, I guess. But actually, lately, like, Mouse Ports, of course, have been the team, like, 4 plus 1. Four people making sure that black can farm. Lately, that's been kind of changing, of course, with the coming of Cinder, and that helped a lot as well. But Black has actually been very involved in team fights very early on. And Spectre is one of those heroes that if you go for drums early on, he can have that big impact. So perhaps we're going to see that here as well. As we are done with the second banning stage, we have got a Chen band out as well. So most sports don't want to be facing that one with the Nature's Prophet, the last band for 4FC. Yeah, the Nature Prophet, you don't want to give that to Koikwa. I'm a bit surprised they didn't pick it earlier, because Koikwa plays it like a god. He's the most annoying hero, or most most annoying player when he gets his uh, Furion. A bit surprised there, actually. We'll see what they end up going for. There goes Lina still. Oh, 
I nailed it. Just want to no point that out. But yeah, that's, that was a bit of a logical pickup. Are you expecting an aggressive tri lane from 4FC? Normally they go for the safe lane. Uh, safe lane dual lane, safe lane tri lane. Uh, from what the later games that I've seen from them anyway. But um, are you expecting an aggressive tri lane with this? Because I think with the Shadow Demon there, they could try to go for it. Yeah, they could, and Mouse right now doesn't have that strong of a lane, but if they pick up Gyro now, it's pretty scary to go aggressive against that. I mean, you just sleep into uh, the Rocket Barrage and one of your support is gonna die. Um, but yeah, Shadow Demon is really good and aggressive. There goes the Gyro. I don't know if I would go aggressive. Depends if they get a strong safe laner. If they want to go aggressive, you always want a strong safe laner that's gonna flat out win that lane. You don't want, you don't want to go even with the safe lane and and off lane, preferably. Yeah, so that even if you lose your aggressive trial lane, you still have a, well, a bit of a backup plan, in a way. Yeah. But you at least shut down your opponent's carry, as a result. But in that case, we might have actually, because Mousepore's also got a lineup that can go aggressive if they want to. Maybe we're gonna have dodging aggressive trial lanes and total complete mind games ending up, like, safe lanes for both. Uh. I don't think Mouse is going to go aggressive though. They really want levels in the Nyx. And Bane likes to have levels as well. Not sure what 4FC is going to pick up now. They want still a mid and probably a safe laner. I think they're going to go aggressive. But Nyx is still a really strong safe laner. He farms really fast actually. Especially even, if you go Midas. Even with the nerf on, nerfs and open wounds? Yeah, it doesn't affect him at all almost yeah. really. The only thing it affects is that his initiation range is lower, but since you have Shadow Demon anyway, it doesn't matter. You know, we have actually seen 4FC going for aggressive tri lanes with Strangby on the Mirana, Lifestealer on the safe lane, and Shadow Demon Lina assisting Mirana. Of course you can get a disruption with an arrow following up, a lot of burst damage coming through, especially with the Soul Catcher on there as well, that's that's like insta-death, uh, although Mouseport is having a lot of counter initiations, so you can try to disrupt that combination, but... Now did you see the Marana pick up? Aggressive tri lane with Marana? Safe lane life sealer? Yeah, that's what I would be thinking right now, but so would probably Mouse. So if they just pick an off laner that can deal with Nyx, it's it's I don't know if they would do that. Uh they probably might just put Marana off lane. Maybe say uh, mid as well. But probably off lane right now. But the aggressive tri lane with Mirana is really good. You just Shadow Demon, Disrupt, and then Lina stun, and then comes an arrow, and anyone dies from that. Yeah. When they contest the pulls, for example. Yeah, we actually have seen that from 4FC. Very long range arrows as well with that. Timing of Strangby is actually quite perfect uh, with that from what we've seen. He's played it, uh, played it quite a bit. Not, in, not that much in competitive, though, mostly in pubs. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess the Shadow Demon Rana is a pretty pubby combination. And they actually pick up a Darkseer, so he can't really deal that much with the Lifestealer. He can take as much farm, but he can't really kill off the Lifestealer or stop him from farming, or can he? A nice versus Darkseer is fairly even. You can't, no, you can't really kill the Lifestealer. And especially when Nyx gets level 6, you can't do anything against him. You can just trade the farm, basically. If, if you're a Darkseer, you can just go behind the tower and pull the Creep Wave into the neutrals. And basically, you're farming 150% compared to 100% farming Lifestealer, if you want to do that. Yeah, because Lifestealer cannot contest that. No, and he has to last it under his tower as well, so he is going to be yeah. needing a lot of regen with that. I mean, he can eat himself back to life a little bit, but it's not really uh, going to be as much damage as he'll take. Or as much HP points that he'll take. So one more pickup for 4FC, they need a solo mid. We both have, or they're going to ban first. Both teams need a solo mid steal. We still have the Queen of Pain in the pool. We still have the Dragonite in the pool, which is also something that we lately see a lot of. Which which two mid heroes are you still expecting to make a show here showing? Uh, Queen of Pain for sure is gonna be picked. I think at least. And the other hero I'm not sure. DK is still good in the mid, but with the ball nerf, it's it's a small nerf to him. I think they can pick basically anything weird. It's hard to say what they're gonna pick. Well, Mouse Purse has one more ban, so if they ban out, because the first pick goes to 4FC and Queen of Pain uh, still there, almost winning every matchup if you put her mid, apart from maybe OD, so perhaps we're gonna see an OD for Mouse if they leave the Queen of Pain in. But if they ban out the Queen of Pain, then the options are gonna be uh, a lot lim more limited than they are. And they, 
Okay, <laughs> we actually have seen 4FC doing a lot of Spirit Breaker mid, to be fair. They've they've done it three times before. Two times oh, in yeah, Sonata, one, once. In, uh, one in, in DreamHack, so... I guess it's slightly legitimate, but... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still I interesting, if, though. I wonder if Mouse is going to put, put Nyx mid, maybe, they could do that. Depending on what lasts here, if they pick Cop, you could do that, potentially. Just pick another support. Like, Yakiro would be really good. With Darkseer, it's extremely good. Yeah, Especially with the uh, Gyrocopter. That's they have a really good combo. Right. Yeah. See? Yakiro? I'm all for it. I'm all for Nyx Assassin solo mid as well. The only downside that I think that Nyx Assassin has if he goes solo mid, it is, it's very obvious when he goes to gank. I mean, he goes level 6. Your supports by some sentry words because you know he's gonna go gank, and if he's not, then okay, you know you still know where he is. But at least I guess you at least you uh, you force your opponent to buy a sentries. And the only way to gank with Nyx, if you're made is really just to tip your tower quickly, and then just go and miss because then they won't. I mean, they have like ten seconds to react to that and call miss. I just realized that I hadn't updated my Twitch name saying that you're co-casting. Sorry. Oh my, god. oh my god, you don't care about me. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't want people to know that I'm casting with you. That's well, understandable. Well, well, I guess you tweeted it out because you're so, like, into social media things. Yeah, <clears> okay, <throat> I'll do it right now. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, we are gonna see last pick up from most sports now, though. Let's see if they pick up the Jakira. I actually, I, I would really hope that they do that because team fight wise, 4FC do have quite a bit there in terms of Sonic Wave and Light Striker Rays and Star Storm maybe as well. Of course, their initiation with Moonlight Shadow as well. But if mouse sports get themselves a Jakiro, they'll win that team fight five on five. Anti -mage. Okay, never mind that. Oh. But they pick up okay. an anti mage. Is it Gyro solo mid or Gyro offlane? Because we have seen Gyro offlane before. No, it's Gyro solo mid. Yeah, Fata has done it before. It's pretty good. I don't know how good it is against a cop, though. The, the thing is, like, I know that Fata once in an interview, uh, he, he gave an interview and, and someone asked him about solo mid Gyrocopter because Fata played it a lot earlier on when, when well, when it was, Gyrocopter was fairly new in the meta, so to speak. But he got asked, like, why doesn't he play it that often anymore? And the reason was that he said, like, okay, and it, it was great until people found out that they could just ki come up and kill me. Yeah, he's pretty low HP and easily ganked. Yeah, and the Queen of Pain, like the harassment that comes up from there. I mean, I'm hoping that Jairo will get pulled here quite a bit because I think he'll need it. Prepare but then again, Black is also going to get pulled. Yep, he already got an extra tango. So so let's uh, just run through our lineups. We have got Sinrin. He'll play his uh, Sin 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 Nyx Assassin. Or Sin Assassin, I don't know how people call him now. But Black on the Anti-Mage, obviously, no real surprise there. Fada playing his Gyrocopter, going towards that mid lane. Did get pulled a set of tangos. Uh, and started off with a race ban as well, maybe a bit more harassment for him. Pass on his Bane and then Koifa on his Dark Seer. You want to introduce your fellow Swedes for FC? Sure. We've got Blomberg on Queen of Pain, and we got Kille on the Nikes, and Strangby on the Mirana, and Matrim on the Lina. I don't know. Should you call him Icon Class or whatever? I call him like you know? I call, sometimes I call him Iconoclast, something matr sometimes Matrim, Iconoclast. but I think you can call him Matrim. Yeah, and Boomski on the Shadow Demon, and he does look like they're going aggressive, putting the Nikes versus Darks here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really important what happens top. And people are having fun with the the X thing. How do you put an X on the map? Big Kunka. There you go. Yep, we, I see your pings too. I see your pings. You see my pings? I see your pings. Where am I pinging then? At black. The battle begins. Yeah, I see what you black. draw on the mini map. You can draw on the mini map or, or on the map right now, by the way. Not just on the mini map. What the fuck map. is going on? Why is it so weird when I'm draw? What the fuck? Do you y see this? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, Why is it so weird? <laughs> what do you mean weird? It's white. I don't know. Because you don't have a color. You can also. But I can't draw a straight line. I what don't mean? know. It's really straight line. No, it's can... buggy for me. Oh, you can draw on the uh, on the map itself as well, like on the ground in the map in the in the game. Yeah, yeah of course. I'm not a total newbie. Well, I just I just figured I'd check as the Sindarin's actually uh, getting harassed away. Oh, they might go for this. They do have a lot of light strike array in just a second. There we go. Impale goes off before the light strike array hits. So Sindarin getting blocked a bit. There goes the oh. illusions. 
Fast coming in. Should be safe for both. Yeah. A lot of harassment though. I'm, I see you. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. So right now we do have an aggressive tri lane. So I'm guessing. Well, where are you expecting first blood based on the matchups? And who is oh, gonna I die see. by whose hand? There you go. I think Mouse is gonna die. They're gonna die like for Boom's case right now. Someone's gonna be there and then they're just gonna disrupt into Lina Sun, into Arrow. And someone's gonna probably die right there. Or during the pole camp, somewhere around there. Which surprised me. And by the way, this is already one. Um, there's already one Observer Ward countered on the side of, uh, on the side of Mouse. And I, it looks actually like both of their Observer Wards are countered. There was one near the <laughs> spot. And one on the lane. That's huge. It's a pretty big deal, actually. Not that I have no vision for six minutes. Yeah, that like, really sucks. Yeah, with the with the nerf basically that you get on vision, like oh there we go. Oh my god, it's exactly at the same spot. Black taking a lot of damage here. Light strike will follow up. He will be able to blink though, and he should be staying alive. But that was exactly the location that you anticipated someone would die. Black though with the Purban shield, able to stay alive, gets himself a self handed to him. That was anyone else. They would die for sure. If it was Black was just saving the blink in case someone overextended, but they didn't really do that. As you see in bot lane, Koi Kreis pulling the creeps and killing the neutrals at the same time. And snatching oh. the rune away from Blomberg. It's oh. uh, pretty big. Well, Cop didn't have a rune, so it wasn't that big of a deal actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, we do have I mean, a bot. Fada sitting on 13 to 3, Blumberg sitting on 6 for 3, so Fada having a really good mid lane here, while in theory I still, like on paper I would give the Queen of Pain a lane over a Gyrocopter, but in terms of last hits, just because he has that race band, he is able to just get those last hits very secure for himself. It's pretty hard to last it with, with Gyro in the first levels, because his damage is really low, but he's got a great attack animation, and now that he's got a few levels, his damage is pretty good. So he's, he's probably going to take a lot of last hit right now. It's just going to snowball CS-wise, I think. Yeah, picked up that level 1 in the homo missile, so going to harass, uh, harass Blumberg a bit with that. Uh, and it looks like the counter ward is done by Sinrin, so he can now sack and pull as well. So that the levels that you said were so important on the mix and the bane can actually start coming, because on this aggressive trial and otherwise, they're not getting anything done here in terms of levels. In terms of last hits, though, Black has got 7. Strangby sitting at 8, so no real difference there. But yeah. nobody really coming forward for 4FC to, uh, to take down. It's pretty even all around the map right now. Every lane is pretty even. It's only mid that's fairly... Well, he's, he's, well okay, he's almost doubling his CS, so... But on other lanes, it's pretty even. I guess it comes down to if Koikva tries to go for, for dive, but that's not really... Like, I don't think Krilly will die either. Krilly is sitting out very nice in last hits, though. 22 for 3. No real surprise there, I guess. We can't really take a, take a look at the last hits for the Darks here, because, of course, they're a bit colored in terms of having last hits in the jungle as well. But he is just doing really well. I mean, he is getting and the jungle creeps and the neutrals. Uh, sorry, the uh, lane creeps. So he's having an okay time. Last hitting under tower with Nikes is pretty hard because of the feast. It really fucks you up a bit, but he went... Uh, the Quelling Blade to make up for that, so it should have been fine from the beginning. Are you expecting a smoke gank anytime soon? Because Matron does have a smoke in his inventory. I guess it's going to be fairly obvious when they're missing from the lane, though. Yeah, if they want to do that, they need to push out the lane. And they need to go at once on Fata. They can easily kill him. I don't know if they have TPs on Nyx. No. They can't really stop it if they find him in mid. He's almost level 6 though, then he will be able to drop a cooldown. Maybe people yeah, it's pretty scary this. to gank him. They need to do it perfectly, otherwise he might just get like a double kill or something before dying, and you don't want to do that. And that's instantly uh, your whole mid game kind of gone. And that's something and I mean, Oh, Darkseer in some trouble. Really chasing him down, doesn't have an open wounds again, but there's also no mana up on, up on Quakefa, and this might actually be a kill. There's a surge. Just, Just got the mana, way. it's pretty lucky. Yeah. He would have died otherwise if he didn't have mana there. Face boots. Face boots, life sealer. Race car life sealer. That's what we like to see. Going for Sanjin Yasha and drums. Oh, good. Yeah. Just drums. It's, it's a really good build. The drums, Sanjin Yasha, but you should go all on it before it. 
Oh, the courier? I almost killed the courier. Holy shit. The bot yeah. lane. Yeah, he was close. 22 HP away. Actually, dive the tower for that as well. We'll be missing yeah. some uh, some lancets there as he's making his way back to bottom, probably after he checked out if he can save the rune. We do have a Matrim and Boomski rotating a bit. They haven't used their smoke. Fada also gonna try to go for a rune, but clearly already picked it up. And he's actually got a DD rune now. He might be able to try to go for Koikfa again. Yeah. <laughs> the jukes, the jukes. Is it enough now? Yeah, it is enough! <laughs> bottom tower is under attack. It is we'll enough. Go. Not enough. He Phase can kill him there. He should be able to. Well, there is Maybe. another surge up on Koikfa. There's your boost, but here oh. comes the surge. But the face boots, that's why you need a race car build, to just catch up afterwards, but then would allow him, or would need him to dive through the tower, so he can't get it done there. So we still don't have a kill on the map, six minutes in, while well, we have got an aggressive trial lane. Would you think like this aggressive trial lane is not working out for 4FC and they should try to maybe do something else? Well, they're denying quite a lot, they just, they just don't want Black to free farm, because he always, I mean, he, he's a crazy farmer and they're accomplishing it, but they need to do something soon. Because uh, Potom is not getting much right now because Pass is constantly using Enfeeble yeah. on Mirana. Like, he has zero damage right now. What the fuck is he Minus supposed to do? One. <laughs> yeah. yeah, his healing creeps when he hits him right now. Yeah, and Pass, he's also leveling that, so he's level 2. There they go again. Disruption is there. Here comes the arrow. Oh. This is black again, though, and he should be able to get away. Impale comes from the side. Mouseport's gonna counter initiate on this one. Goldarm comes in. Fada TPs himself to the top lane. Looks like Iconoclast is the target. There will be another Impale in just a second, and that will be a nice by Carapace, but oh, the third oh. blood. Blumber gets it. Bing goes down as well. That is two down on the side of Mouseport's. Also, rotation, of course, from Blumber. Didn't have money, uh, mana for the Sonic Wave. But pretty secure kill right there. Yeah, it was really good by Cop to come in there. It was, it really helps them a lot getting two kills. Yeah, and without uh, that, Fada tried to come in. Yeah. Fada couldn't really do anything. He missed his ult on everyone. They just backed out as soon as they saw him, which was the right way to do. And then he was out of mana. Yeah. And then he went back middle. He is a bit faster back in middle than. No, that's not true. Cop's already here, without any mana. But, oh well. That was, I mean, that rotation from Lombard, without that they would have lost first blood, and maybe then some, so... Really important, set the pace of the game, maybe. We are gonna see uh, maybe a bit of rotation. The supports rotating bottom, maybe trying to help off Krilly, maybe finally taking down Quake 5 they can. Quake 5 who's having a brilliant game, by the way, he's very high on net worth. Just a bit lower than uh, Lifeseer, who is highest. Still, even yeah. with, uh, with Lombard taking the first blood. He did get the first blood, though, yeah, he did. They are moving down right now, but Koikova probably will be aware of this and it's going to play a little bit more passive until he sees the support. Yep. Like support is missing on the map. Always a reason for caution, especially since they probably saw the, the smoke already up in Matron's inventory when they started out. Who now has two smokes in his inventory, but... Uh, yeah, one is not enough. You have to have two. Radiance middle tower Every, everybody knows attack. that. But yeah, they, they Everyone is playing. <laughs> playing really passively right now. Gary's got his invis at least, so he should feel yeah. pretty safe. Yeah, he can try to go out front, but the, the lane is like just on the wrong side of the river for him, and it's still so risky, even yeah. with the invis. Yeah, he's gonna be bursted if he gets caught yeah. by disruption. Soul catcher there, sonic wave, can't escape from that. Even if you are invisible. Well, unless you dodge. And look at Koifa, he's just sitting behind the tower. Sending his bottle back. <laughs> there comes the smoke. Let's see what they're gonna do. They're wasting a lot of time. They need to get something done. He's just pushing out the lane, which is really smart as well. Doesn't want to spend too much time away from this tower. Gonna see if we can get the rune. 10 minute rune. Who gets it? It is the bottom lane. It will be Fada with the haste rune as well. So that's really nice for him. The supports rotate further hey. top. Might be finding Sindarin. I could probably kill bottom if Koika saw that Nikes uses ult. Well, they're gonna go for Cinder and the arrow hits as well. Is there enough damage though? The Spike Carapus will be up in there in a second and he gets himself away. Strang Beef being forced back. Fada coming in. Here comes Blomberg. Nice oh. Sonic Wave. Fix up Cinder and Fada on the run as well. Blomberg saving the day. Boomski might still go down if he doesn't start running really fast right now. But then I strike a ray up on two and the screams. Oh. And this screams four people dead for just one Jesus. solo shadow demon, Blomberg, Queen of Pain, and the Light Strike Array. 
Yeah. And they made that. Blumberg is really saving top hard time and Mouse is going way too far. I mean, if they should really keep track on this Queen of Pain. They can't fight for more than 10 seconds stop because the cop is going to come and they will get bursted and die. They stayed way too long there, Mouse. I mean, they, they only got the Shadow Demon there. That's the only kill in the game that they have so far. Dyer's middle and I mean, that was, was, yeah. They don't have wards either, by the way. We, we already knew, of course, that their wards weren't going to be there at the start of the game, but right now they're not there either. So they lack a lot of vision. And I guess that's the downside of having your supports kind of shut down a bit from that aggressive trialing, because, I mean, there's no boot yet up on Cinderin, nor up on Pass. They don't have anything. Or maybe they can, can have something right now. Oh, it's wards in the courier. Look at that. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. This is what I said about 4FC. Like, they're really good early. I mean, like, it's looking really good for them right now, but... Yeah. Mid-game, we'll see how they're going to play, because usually they just get picked off sometimes, and we'll see if they'll will be able to keep this lead that they have now because they're doing really good right now. Like they have a free farming Nikes almost and mid is doing pretty good now. They're like four kills. He's almost got his Orchid. Well, I mean halfway there at least and yeah, we'll see if they can keep this up. What, what are you expecting that like, of course there's like this window of opportunity, right? For most sports to get their anti mage big and fat and at that point 4FC can't do anything anymore. Like which time window would you give 4FC like if they don't win in this amount of minutes, they're gonna lose the game. Is there anything that you think like 35 minutes or so? Maybe? Yeah, I mean the way the way they could lose if they lose one team fight and Black is just gonna he's he farms like a god basically. If they lose a big team fight, they could just lose right there probably. I think they just need to get some towers as soon as. Well, Lysil has got his uh, armlet now. Maybe he should get get a drum or or a Sanchiashan to start pushing, do something, because they don't want to give room for Black to get his Bell Fury. And then if they lose one team fight and Black has Bell Fury, then he's gonna get so much farm. And right now Black is fucking poor right now. <laughs> he's yeah, got he nothing really. He doesn't have a battle fear yet, and he got shot down quite a bit by that aggressive trialing. So in that sense, the, the window has been opened a bit more for 4 FC. But I, th I think you're right. I mean, they need to do something with their with their time that they have, with the advantage that they have right now, with their strengths that they have. Take control of the map. Take down those outer towers. Make sure that Black has got less place to farm as well to try and slow him down. You're not going to stop him. I mean, that's basically impossible. But you can slow him down by just creating a bit of an unsafe environment for him. If they if they find the the right means to if they keep on the pressure but they they seem to be kind of back to the laning stage. Yeah, Black. I don't think he's gonna get his spell here before like minute twenty. But looks of it right now, and they just need to get the towers, the all the tier one towers right now uh, for friends and Krilla to capitalize on their on their lead right now, and then it's gonna get more unsafe for Black to farm. And it's it's pretty scary for him to farm as well, because if he gets disrupted or something, he, you can just arrow from far away and then he's gonna die for sure. Yeah, and of course the Entomate has a bit of a blinking animation, so even if it doesn't hit straight away, you still have got a bit of bit of space for that arrow to hit. And the Soul Catcher yeah. on there, it's, it's a lot of damage that comes up from that arrow as well, once it gets leveled up. Uh, we do have maybe Blumberg in a bit of trouble though. Sonic Wave, oh. wow! That's gonna be one dead gyrocopter! Came in from the low ground, went in blind as well. Found himself the two highest farmed heroes on the map of 4FC. And that's a pretty important kill as well. Gary, uh, uh, he needs his BKB yeah. really be able to fight. And they're oh, gonna go top. for Sindarin here though. Sindarin is gonna be able to stay alive. Vacuum into the dark sphere. Whoa, Koikfa trying to do something here. Iconoclast already dead. There goes the Nyx assassin still, but Shadow Demon dies with him. Blumberg, Fiend's Grip, on a void. That is going to be a double kill for Black, and that's not something that you want to give away, even though you do get a kill in return for that. Three people died in that top lane. Yeah, that was not a good trade. I mean, Syndrome plays really well. His spite carapace really makes these fights possible, because he's got like one HP and they're like, oh, okay, we just hit one more time or one more spell, and then he uses spite carapace, and then they have to continue fighting, and it, it really makes Radiant's the fights for them right now. Yeah, and the double kill for, for Black, I mean, that's gonna be his Battle Fury step closer. He's got 2400 gold in the bank, and they might get the first tower with this as well. And I say first, because there really actually is no tower down yet on the map. But uh, 4FC gonna defend it. I'm clearly waiting for maybe trying to go on the uh, 
tier one bottom in return to try and force some people back away from top lane Dyer's so that they can continue shutting down black perhaps they can and fortified. with that fight by the way also nyx assassin level six and we already saw the fiend script there as well hit on the hit for a second there on the queen of pain to hold her in place but that's the two supports of Mao's level six and they have very high impact level six abilities as well so might see some action with that what they four friends we need to do right now they need to use the knights they need to like do Nikes, bombs, infest bombs, push a tower and have cop smoked behind or something and then just as soon as they defend, blink in and you can kill anyone within seconds if you just do that. I think you just, yeah, now he's TPing top exactly what he needs to do and it probably infests. Yeah, there we go. And let's see if they can take this fight top. The wall is ready though. Yeah, cooldown is there again. Fiendscript is up again. Everything is up for most sports. There's only three of them here though. Both the Gyro uh, and the Nyx Assassin are not here. They need to go really soon because they will know. Like, yeah, they had like five seconds window of opp opportunity there and, top tower is under attack. and they didn't take it. Radiance and now everyone backs and you just get a tower. They even just trade a tower actually. Bottom Probably the cop should have played slightly more aggressive. Not Going behind the tower. Safe enough. I mean, I guess yeah. like, that's, a, that's a large part of Dota, knowing when you can go in and when you can't go in, when you're ahead, when you're behind. Top is under yeah, it's pretty scary since they have both the Nyx ult and the Bane. Like, if you get out of position, you die really quickly, but I think they saw the Nyx bottom. Yeah. yeah, they didn't and, he was uh, so sure of oh, He's gonna actually TP right into this one. Tower will get denied, Moonlight Shadow being used. But is it gonna be enough? Cooldown still hits upon Krilly. Disruption there. Sonic Wave actually almost misses everybody. Mech up for Koikfa helps up. Dark Sea will there. Oh my god. 4 of C. I think they need to bail. They still fiend script up on Krilly. He'll end up going down even though he is invisible. Oh, maybe not. Armlet oh. toggle. Nobody dies yet apart from the next assassin. And this could actually be 4 of C escaping oh. this fight, which was so not in their favor. They get away. That was really close. They could have gone completely different there. Like all of them could have died. Yeah, that was really nice ult from Mirana. Really saved that fight. I don't think they had detection on Mouse. Yeah, no, that no, cost them a lot. And the yeah. Fiend script just continued going, but they couldn't seek release, so they only did the damage that was in the Fiend script itself, I think. Yeah, and Black cancelled his ult twice as well. I don't think. Yeah, it probably was a good, a good choice as well. Because I think the cop had full up mana almost. And maybe it was the only target that he saw had vision or something. I mean, that was. That was a very awkward team fight to watch because I just thought like, okay, now 4 of C is gonna get obliterated because... I don't know, everything came down for Mousepods. That wall was almost perfect. Well, it cut two, but it was doing a lot of damage to those two. Even Krilly there almost died, but... Ended up not losing a single thing, apart from their time, I guess. Because they didn't get the tower in the end. And it's in the night range, 72 HP. The tower. And that's the Battle Fury done. In comes the flash from and, and black is actually highest on top of net worth right now as well. Uh, that doesn't surprise me one bit. It's black after all. Well, and they're pushing mid again. And most ones they want to defend though. They're sitting here with four, leaving black to farm. That's the most that we know. Four plus one. Yeah. Four of C sitting here really with five good. though. They have really good team fight as well on mouse. All their abilities are really good. The wall can really change the fight completely. Because they don't have much AoE to deal with the illusions. It's really only Cobb and Starfall, pretty much. They can kill them. Yeah, you kind of want to use the Starfall, of course, to do damage on the heroes themselves, so... You can't really spam it out to, to burn those illusions. And... Top tower is under well, I guess the tower will get destroyed the still, even though Cinnamon did try, but uh, Strangby in the end gets the last hit, so a bit of extra gold for him. In the meantime, top lane Black oh. takes a Laguna Blade and a Sonic Wave, but... That's not gonna be... Or is it? Or is it? No, he is not dead. <laughs> close. Yeah, that was pretty close. Delina missed her stun, and there was probably no way she could have hit that anyway. But if that would have hit, he would have been dead 100%. Yeah. And Sonic Wave and Laguna Blade both used. There's still quite a bit of damage going through, but just just not enough. And that spell shield, even though it's only level one, helping so yeah. much. It's secretly going down bottom lane. Hold on, going down. That's a pretty important pickup, actually. Yeah, he hasn't died yet. And he is, of course, he is one of the heroes on the side of 4th C that is farming quite a bit. 
actually second highest for his team and if you just continue to shut him down he can't really join his team and they can't really regroup because that like what you said that they should do try to go for for pickups and and, and ganks and rather with five men than with uh, with less or actually they're gonna go still lifesteal or not using moonlight shadow they're going with three they want to kill the anti mage and they saw it maybe like black is playing really safe right now I don't think they could have seen it but he did see that black. everybody's missing from the map I guess spider sense is up on black tingling black is sneaking around come on black take the farm did you want to take the farm nope he goes for neutrals let's see we don't have any ancient stacks going on by the way like on neither team they just let it go yeah, awesome. that's pretty weird, because Mouse has two heroes that are amazing with killing the Ancients. But they haven't really been bought. There's really no one that could have stacked them. We've got a Gyrocopter with a BKB right now upon Mouse port, so Fada will be have a lot more impact in the game. But he still misses a lot of damage, but I guess that's when uh, that's where uh, Black comes in later on, of course. And he has got 14 under gold already, Black that is. He is, he is just happily far, farming. I mean, his gold minute is still below the, of that of the Queen of Pain. It's still 380. I want to say only 380. But it's going to be going upwards very fast. Like, if you check back again in 10 minutes, what do you expect it to yeah. be? 500? Yeah, probably something like that. Black is going to just skyrocket in farm. It's really hard for them to kill him. The only way they can kill him is if they hit an arrow. Well, he doesn't have... Mantas are yet, so they have silence actually. But Black knows anti mage, he's not gonna get caught out. It's gonna be really hard to find him. Yeah, and, and as soon as he gets Mantas style, he can't die. Yeah, they're not gonna find him. While they're doing this, everyone else is farming pretty much. They're wasting a lot of their time like this. I mean, we had the gold graph in favor of 4FC for a little while, it wasn't really that much though, like 1.5k gold. The Maybe difference the hasn't tower, been really more than that, and it's still around the zero line right now. But 4FC, like, th I feel like this should be their their moment, and they're not really taking it, they're not really finding it. Experience Graph is going way far in the favor of Mouse Sports compared to the Gold Graph. Going towards the 4.5k in, in favor of Mouse. And I guess most of that is all up on Black, because level-wise... Actually, it's not just Black. Supports, uh, supports are fairly even as well. I guess the difference is not that big. I'm gonna fight the bottom now. Let's see if Cinderin can find someone. Is there a detection up on 4FC? They take a tower at least. No detection, by the way. No wards or anything up on 4FC, and they're just gonna go for it. The problem is that they have to trade for the towers right now. Every time they get a tower, so does Mouse. Yeah, rather, so does Black. He just got that tower by himself. There goes the tier 2 as well. Mouse sports, they want to actually fight Moonlight Shadow again. Vacuum there into the call down. Arrow will completely miss. Actually, hits black. Nicely done. Sonic Wave. That's going to be quick for dead. And the sentry ward went down. So this is going to be Krilla 4 of Mouse sports being prepared. Fast still ends up going down. Blomberg. Why are you not running, Blomberg? Or Boomski, you too. No, they got destroyed this time. Krilla still alive, though. That's, of course, a big win for 4 FC. Bruce also strength be able to get away. They only got two in return, though. And. I guess they did stop Black from farming a little bit, but he did end up picking up a kill. Yeah, they need to win this fight because Anthemir is just going to keep farming and now he's got 3,600 gold and he's just going to outfarm him so hard right now. Nyx is not going to be able to fight him, Cop is not going to be able to fight him and Mirana is one of those carries that you need basically like 25k net worth for her to deal damage. <laughs> She's not going to be able to fight either. Or as well. I don't know how they need to fight like right now for FC and get some good fights to win this. And look at the sentry wars, by the way, that Mouse used on that bottom lane. It's like, of course, last time they didn't get the fight because of no vision. This time, that's not gonna happen. Four sentry wars being placed just for that one fight. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty uh, impressive. But yeah, I, I mean, you're right. We see Mirana sitting on 8k net worth. Very far away from the 25k that you mentioned, and she's she's building for a bit of a glass cannon build as well. She picked up a Yasha, so the only survivability she will have is the split, is the mana 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 style split rather. So let's see. Four of C though, they smoke up. They really need to hit the arrows if they want to win fights right now. If Mirana hits a good arrow, they can really determine fights. And there she misses one. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was pretty hard arrow. She did hit black by accident the previous fight though. It's kind of funny. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Nobody was that's there not to follow black. it up. It's not funny for black. No. And I mean, it didn't really end up making that big of a difference, either. Oh, because last fight, it just went through everyone. It was a bit unlucky, but if that hit someone, like the gyro, that could have been a big deal. But yeah, it got unlucky there. Now they're gonna fight mid, maybe. Boomski, oh. by the way, has a oh, disruption. They find Koikfa. So get you there as well. Life Strike Array. That should be one. Darkseer dead, but he uses the mechanism and will be dying. There we go. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Quite dead. <laughs> <laughs> and so many they got a gem on Shadow Demon now. Yeah. Then they'll see them. Or at least one of them. Because uh, Mouseport's taking a bit of more control over the jungle of the Radiant as well. Having one the Gyro, does he know? He has the gem. It's pretty scary here. He has an Ivis rune. He's probably feeling fairly safe. Yeah, you probably have seen the oh, gem. Oh, there goes the sentry board. Arrow will hit, but nice by Carapace. There goes the cooldown. Morana able to leap away. Still takes some little damage though. And that's going to be an infest Blumberg blinking himself out. 4 they do not want to take this fight. And they will not have to unless uh, Black forces it out of them. I'm not sure where Matron is going, but he is going to try <laughs> Black! to... Vacuum in. Nice! Gets Queen of Pain as well. But they're still on the run. Strang B. Strang B. Oh! oh Sinrin almost got that kill with a Vendetta. Black yeah. now. Finds the infest that uh, <laughs> finds the infested life stealer. Still gonna chase nice life strike array from the low ground, slowing the uh, the, the clutch escapes. No one is here. dying. Nobody is dying, and everybody Still like has out. clutch escapes. Like the in, the impale came, but the blink away was just in time. Sinrin almost got Strangby there, but the TP out was just in time. And I mean that's yeah. that's gonna be sad for mouse sports because they did use a lot of time for this, and also of course time that Black would have been farming, and he is just here with the. Wild Goose Chase. Maybe they can still get something now. And they're actually gonna go for the Disruption. Pull down, coming down. It's on Bloomski actually. Vacuum in there. That's gonna be Bloomski dead. That's a gem on the floor. Sonic Wave will go through. There goes the Scream. Blomberg having to run. Mana Void doing quite some damage. Now people are dying, but the buyback is already there. And Black able to pick up Krilly there. Darkseer's Iron Shell getting the last hit. Dominating Black picks up the Lina. And that's Mouse Sports winning a fight. Took down four in total. Three in total. Three in total. For zero. It's gonna be really hard for Forty to come back now. Black got his Manta style. I don't know what he's going next. Maybe a BKB so they can fight, but probably not. He's just gonna keep farming. <laughs> That's what he does. He doesn't want a BKB. He doesn't have his farming. He wants, wants like a butterfly or something like that. Or a second Battle Fury. That's how Black plays. And Boomski really wants his gem back, but he's not gonna get it. Koikfa has it. I mean, that's a pretty big loss, because, I mean, you don't have that Moonlight Shadow initiation power anymore. And Darkseer, he can sit in the front lines as well, so that gem will be having its uh, full potential right there. And map control was something that 4FC was kind of excelling in at the start of the game, but they're losing it right now. I mean, they are behind on gold right now, behind on experience by 10k, almost 12k. That's actually quite a lot. Yeah, this is not looking good right now. And it's just gonna get worse. Like, still, they, they need to fight. They need to keep fighting. And if the fights don't go well, then they can just call GD, basically. Because there's they can't delay this. They're not gonna win in any way if they delay this game. I try to outfarm Mouse. What about people saying, like, there's always hope in Dota? Yeah, there is. That's why they need to fight now, and they kill them, and they win. That's their hope. Okay, but what if they don't fight now? Because obviously they're, no, they're not preparing for fights. Maybe they should take Roshan. But they don't have the control, because they don't have the map control, because they don't have the gem. And their wards are getting countered. Yeah, and they can't fight at Roshan either, versus a Gyro and a Darkseer. That does not sound like a good idea. No. Hmm. Hope to take a fight without Black, perhaps? Whoops. Black War already got 3400 gold again. I mean, let's take a look at his net worth. We're only eight minutes, eight minutes before, since the last time that I said that we would check in, in 10 minutes and he would have 500, but he's already passed 500 since that last fight. I mean, he got himself an extra kill there and he is uh, he's doing really well. Even the Gyrocopter has now surpassed the Queen of Pain, who was uh, doing pretty well in the second place for a long time. 
But Blumberg also, since he got his Orchid, not able to make it work, not able to get those pickoffs that you would expect the Queen of Pain to get at that time. He's got his Hex soon. When they get the Hex, they should really just go for it and try to take a fight. But Black is preparing for it. He went for the Black King Bar. Yep. Which is a good choice right now. They need to fight. And the way for a C can win fights is that they have burst. If the fight goes on for more than 15 seconds, then they're going to lose. Because who deals damage in 4FC? Mirana doesn't deal much damage. Nikes can be kited around. And Cop, she's basically the only one that can do some bursts here and there. And, and next to that, I mean, 4FC doesn't have a mechanism. So yeah. they can't really, like, they don't really have the... Uh, the sustainability that Mousepad do have, because of course Quake has a mechanism for a long time already. That's actually and he also has game. his uh, Hex soon as well. Like this battle of the wards is like continuing here in the mid lane. Sinrin with the gem of True Sight scouting it out as well. Still ward up yeah, there. Yeah, they still the owned by Boomski. Used to be owned by Boomski, you say? Because now it is Sinrin's, and I don't think he has any intention of letting it go. They are gonna see Roshan getting picked off here. I mean, this they is... don't see this. This is really bad. They need to contest it. They're just standing there doing nothing. Well, oh, that really they just realized that and back off. They were hoping that someone would come to farm on the bottom lane, but yeah, they thought someone would farm. Yeah, that sucks That's... for them. That is the uh, the side of ice ready on Blumberg, though. Yeah, but now he has Aegis, so <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they have to hope that Black is going to go out by himself and farm a bit, and then they can take a 4 on 5 fight. And hope that Black isn't in time there, because you, you said, like, if the fight goes on long enough, then, I mean, Mouseports will win regardless, but also Black will be able to join the fight, because he'll be able to make his way over. Under smoking bottom. Let's see. They, they don't have Blumberg here, though. Yeah. No They're going for Black? Place. No? Oh, that was quick question. Sinrin close Sin by. Do they have any detection? Apart from the sentry ward that's there. They're just gonna wait again. Do yeah, they're not. Oh, they might find Koikva. No, he's running left. Yeah. Wasting a Smoke. lot of time. Unsuccessful. Yeah, and they're gonna have to TP back soon because Mouseport's really showing where they are. And they just the take the tier 2 tower, tower for free because they can. Middle tower has it is still, uh, it's still 4FC that is ahead in towers with one tower ahead right now, but... Yeah, yeah. the guy has got a monkey king bar. He hits pretty Ooh. hard right now. Ooh, Fiend's grip, really? Oh, just out of oh. range. The surge is there for pass. Maybe they can get him now. But he takes the wrong route. <clears throat> Won't end up finding it. Oh, but the position is for Boomski. <laughs> oh, shit. Run, Boomski, oh. run. TP oh. now! What did he TP? Oh, yeah, he TP now, Malafoy. That's gonna be one. Oh, maybe he's gonna be invisible. Is there vision? No, Is there vision? Have they have, of course, got there. the gem, but Where's... need Sinrin for it. Sinrin! They're not gonna kill him. Now he goes there in. There he comes. <gasps> no? Oh? He's not finding him. He's Where not are finding you going? him. You should know. You always hide here. Come on, Sinrin. Mm -hmm. You always hide there. He doesn't have a TP. They should know this as well. No. Nope. Maybe they thought he ran to the right. No. Nope. This is gonna be one very happy, very happy Shadow Demon, I think. Still hiding. <laughs> he can't <laughs> believe what just happened. In shock. He needs to run to the to the shop to get himself a new TP, but it will be on cooldown, so what oh he's gonna go top. I mean the yeah, moment smoke. that he walks through that this niche there, then that's that's gonna be him gone because they'll see where he goes. Tears tower so will end up going down. Has fallen. Well, that's that's a very lucky shadow demon right there. But I think uh, I, I don't think it matters that much for how this next fight is going to be going because mouse ports they have no intention of backing off, and they'll go to uh, the tier three. And like four FC, you said that they needed to fight. I think uh, they're going to have to soon. Let's see if they can. That'd be so tough. MKB up a fada takes an arrow though. Arrow to the knee. Is it going to kill him? Vacuum in yeah, there, that's him. gonna be Queen of Pace still going down, but Fada indeed as well. Fiend's Grip already up on Krilly, and he is just getting killed off right now. That's gonna be another one on the sidelines for 4FC. Boomski ends up still dropping as well. Strang being Krilly back here in this. Black with his BKB turned on, looking for what a target, takes an arrow. Black, 
arrow to the knee, man. <laughs> he ran into it. He ran Fuck. into that one. And this is this is currently buying back, working out for them. Maybe they can get Black. Life Strike away from Atrium. Black. Yeah, there we go. Blinks himself out. Still got an open wound. Swingby might be able to do something. Arrow? Here. Doesn't have an arrow. Does have an arrow. Oh, Black. Wow. Getting hit by the arrows. I can't. I can't believe Four of C just defended their base. Yeah. It was that looking was so the, grim for yeah, them. H and Aegis. Yeah. And Fada. Was the, yeah. That they killed the Gyro early in the fight. Yeah. Won them, basically, that fight. And Black walking Hickson. into an arrow. Kind of helped. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm looking good. laughs> Fucking Black. Yeah. But it, it doesn't really matter at all on the big scale of the game. Like, what's going to change? Nothing, really. They can just keep farming with Mouse until they feel safe, but... Yeah, they can just fight again and lose. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's always the question, like, what are you getting in return for those fights? 4FC probably got some time, but I think we already said earlier that, I mean, they don't have that time. They have the mid-game. Mouse has late game. And they can't really wait too long. And by this point, it might already be too late. But they need to just try to continue keeping or finding Mouse out of position. Maybe they're going to try to go for Cinder. And there comes the Life Strike Array. He's going to get Bursa down. Oh my god, that's by Carapace. <laughs> Very close. Oh my god. Boomski will uh, try to save Blomberg. He's able to run away. Boomski will probably die for that though. Gets an Impale and the Iron Shell be enough to take him down. No? Yes? Yes. And that's gonna be him. So going down Strangby. Another Spike Carapace. Sindarin doing work here. Krilly still turned into a Piglet. Boikfa with the Hex. Gets himself the kill. Gets himself the gem that only was just bought by Boomski. That is his second gem that he loses today. Let's see if Strangby can get himself away here. He has an Invis rune, but there is a gem upon Darks here, so he has to be careful. He walks the right way, though. But oh my god, that Spike Carapace. Like, I was I was thinking, like, yeah. the Life Strike Array hit exactly, like, hit without its Spike Carapace. So they had, like, this moment of time where they could burst everything without worrying for that. And they waited too long. Yeah, that Spike Carapace basically won them the fight right there. Uh, again, Sindarin, his Spike Carapace are really spot on this game. Really making the fights for his team. Oh, he's gonna have to do it again. There he goes. This is a stun for Matrim though. Matrim will still Double get killed by the illusion. And that's gonna be Boomski dead as well. Oh, there's three dead. And Blomberg and Lifestealer was still dead of course from earlier. Because Eddie didn't have buyback because he bought back in the previous fight. So this yeah. is Mouseport still taking uh, the ranks that they came for earlier on already. And I think at this point Strangby... Uh, I, I find it very brave that he is still standing so close. Fiend script is not there. I guess that's quite lucky. I'm expecting Let's see a if GG. Black arrow only. again. <laughs> expecting an arrow on black. If you just use the arrow, there we go. Uh, it's a Pafada though. Vacuum in there. There goes an impale up onto oh. Strangby. Able to leap himself out. Clearly though, if he goes down, that's gonna be him dead for. It. Oh yeah, that's gonna be him dead for another 70 minutes, and that's. That's basically GG. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't call GG now. They could try to fight, but it's nice last pretty away. pointless. Oh! Oh. Nope. Arrow? Arrow? Hit black? No. Strangby is not arrowing anybody. There Here he comes goes. Arrow. Come on. No. Like, oh, he's, he's casting it. He's faking it. He's faking it. He's killing himself. Yeah. Doesn't want to live anymore. But it is, it is a GG. So most parts take game number one. This is, of course, the best out of three. For uh, yep. for the EMS 1 uh, group stages, we are of course in the raid call EMS 1 Summer 2013 Group C. Most sports in 4 of C play their first game in the group stages. Uh, they are in a group together with Alliance and Red in the Dark. That match between those two will be on Monday. And then the winners of this one and that one will be facing each other. And it's like a mini, mini double elimination bracket. And the top two will end up going to the land finals in Poland somewhere. So Mouse Sports on the right path. The first game. If you win two games in a row, you already go to Poland. How about that? Sounds good. Yes. If you go there, you're guaranteed two thousand dollars. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Yeah, eight teams uh, in total will be on the. Uh, will be there. Of course, uh, there's three groups from Europe, so six teams from that. We already have EG qualified from America, and then there's one extra, and uh, the thing that I heard is it's, it's not entirely confirmed yet, but that all the third places in the groups will be playing together in a qualifier uh, for that one last spot. <laughs> yeah, GG. 
GG. So are you gonna join me for another game? Yeah, I guess so. Why not? Why not? Good. Good attitude. It was fun. It was yeah. fun. Let's hope that 4FC can uh, capitalize more on their advantages, advantages next game because it kind of felt like they let it slip a bit. Yeah. They had a decent early game lead, but it, it wasn't massive or anything, but it was it was pretty good and they, they couldn't really do anything with it. We'll see another game. I have, of course, another outro to play and the commercial for Raycall, etc. So we'll be right back. And don't go anywhere. <laughs>